My name is Caleb, thanks so much for following me into this video. So, you want to learn more about proxies and how it could improve your workflow, right? So, the first thing, you want to just um, use it in combination with other tricks that you might already know. Um, the most efficient way I've learned to edit is by doing composites within composites or layers within layers. Um, working from the main editing timeline, you can't keyframe and basically you're not, you're not as flexible, you don't have as many options. Um, you're forced to use any um, pre-made transitions and effects and so on. You can't key them and fade them out. Um, so what you want to do to get started is create a new composite shot. Um, and that's going to become your new main editing timeline. So you go to new and then select composite shot from your media panel or you can just use your shortcut and then you name it whatever you want whatever will make it easy for you to find I've called it new working so once you've created it go into it and then you're gonna just drag whatever composite shots you plan to use so um, you want to use proxy the composites of course because that's where you're gonna get the benefit so uh, I'm just gonna pull these in boom they're on the new working timeline now and we're just going to add some effects that should slow down the computer typically um, but we'll see that because of the proxies it's just going to play back like normal um, like it's a supercomputer so just overlap by itself typically slows down my computer and then of course time reverse so we're going to add that one in for sure and then we're just going to copy the time reverse so double time reverse and then just for kicks we're gonna add a fade so opacity so i love to do manual fades i don't like to use presets and okay so even though this is a composite basically it's two composites with effects within a composite um it's still gonna play back smoothly and just to up the ante a little bit I'm gonna actually move the new working timeline onto the main editing timeline so it's not even playing from within it it's playing like as if it was a file on its own and um, sorry I need to clear the screen here Boom. oh let's do a transform so as you're gonna see even though I've done all that the proxies are still in place so they didn't change the proxy composites themselves I just put effects on top of them just fit the frame proxy still in place so you can see now proxies you can see I'm working from the editor and uh, let's have a look at the playback so there we go smooth but very smooth and here's our transition all right so everything looks good so let's pause for a second and so let's just go into the new working timeline again here so this is the last thing I want to show so let's say you this was a way more complex effect and you really loved it um, you want to make sure it doesn't get adjusted or anything you don't like mess it up whilst you're editing other stuff maybe you just want to color grade it separately you could actually, because you're working within layers, you could actually group these together. So select both of them and make a composite shot of them. So you could either do it by right clicking, make composite shot, or you can use your shortcut. Once you do that, you're going to get a nice little message like this. It's basically saying it's just going to take all of this that you've selected, including the effects, and put it into its own composite shot. So let's just call that four. And now what you're going to see is we've gone into four, but under the new working timeline, instead of seeing the two clips, you're seeing just one clip, and that's four. And you can go into it if you want to see the two clips and make any adjustments, or you can just keep it like this if you don't need to make any adjustments. And what's cool is that even though we have like a triple inception for composite, composite shots, it's still going to play back smoothly because proxies. So, that being said, I'm just going to play it back as we close off here. That is all I have for you. You're still seeing only two shots proxied. And that's it.
So that is how you can use proxies and you can use a better layout for your workflow to um, be more efficient whilst editing and grading and so on in HitFilm. So my name is Caleb. Thanks so much for staying with me for so long. I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you in future tutorials. Peace!